in this video I would like to show you on how to run the valuation for uh, open items which is relating to the customers and vendors so when you run you need to enter the company code and also the valuation area which is IF and uh, you need to choose because I am running in the test run so these options I will explain in the, in the later uh, upcoming video so now I run the valuation uh, for a vendor open items and customer open items then I click on execute so the system shows um, the valuation so you can see the, we posted our documents uh, um, and let me choose the variant uh, which I created for me choose uh, you can create our own variants yeah so here um, you can see my posting date uh, I just increase the posting date to 11 also I don't want the currency so to a big space here so I want to reduce the currency also into number three so now I would like to save my variant you can save your own variants and this is my variant use a specific click OK yeah sorry user specific must start with the uh, name y or z so it's a standard variant i'm just saving which can be used by all the users and here you can see this is a posting date so if i sort by my posting date you can see the documents which we posted on september one is a usd another one is gpp for a customer and vendor and the customer we posted at the USD so you can see the exchange rate what we have let me open the Excel so this is the posting exchange rate and this is my closing exchange rate which I maintain so I will show you in the in the videos uh, in initial screen while maintaining the exchange rate we already maintain this yeah so you can see here the exchange rate uh, for us yeah you can see it is on September the date uh, it is taking the exchange rate here is uh, you can see I use the transactional rate is one moment when it is posted yeah it's used let me bring uh, the valuation uh, exchange rates also into here yeah uh, this may be a little bit so you can see here <coughs> oh, sorry how the exchange rates is derived so it's actually in the case of uh, um, valuing the system is taking indirect rate so this is where it is how uh, the system is considering um, the rate which is a transactional rate which is actually the calculated uh, here so in the case of uh, um, even the you, you, GBP also is this is the rate when it comes to um, um, the posting and uh, you can see this is the one uh, is actually posted sorry um, and I will just uh, quickly show you one more time uh, here this is actually your posting so to make it clear so you posted a document with this rate yeah so since you posted with this rate the system is taken indirect rate for USD so the first one the second one is actually you posted um, as a 1.19 so when you look at the indirect rate 
this will be equal to your um, what you call GBP here so when you look at uh, indirect rate of the GBP is this one but when you look at the indirect rate of a uh, USD is this one so actually um, this is the one you posted a transaction uh, in the in the document so when you go into the document you can see your document is actually posted with the here so you can see so when you see the document actually is recorded with here is this one so this is one document I just taken so the document is recorded with this but uh, while valuing system is taking here in the table in the table the indirect rate yeah so when in the case of a valuation you can see it's taking the closing rates where is this one this is our closing rates where you can easily map the closing rates here is 4 to 1 for a month and closing is what we have already maintained in the system for a different exchange rate type m9 as a closing rate and also in the case of a gbp this is your closing rate so don't confuse with this and uh, this one so uh, one is a, a transactional rate is this one another one is a closing rate how we maintain in the system so now i am going to explain how this is calculated by the system yeah so how how these values are calculated and and it's quite tricky um, while calculating these uh, values uh, I will I will show uh, uh, more details uh, um, yeah so uh, on how to do the calculation so this is how uh, the system in the F FX valuation program is deriving the exchange rates from the document and also closing rates from the ticker table which is an exchange rate table thank you so hope you are clear on how the system is deriving the exchange rates from the uh, system uh, um, tables when you maintained and also running the foreign currency valuation for the open items also the same rule applicable for the balances as well